get in! Yes, we've won, but it wouldn't be a United game if there wasn't drama right at the end and we made it hard for ourselves. Like, literally, it wouldn't be United if we didn't do that. Uh, early on, all right, the first half an hour, it was all United. I'm not being biased here, but you'll see our match of the day, all right? Liverpool never had a sniff. I was so surprised, all right? The possession stats after 30 minutes, 65% to Manchester United, 35% to Liverpool. That tells you how we, well we were dictating the play. Not only that, we were creating. Instead of pointless possession, it was actually uh, viable and we actually created chances. And yet, yeah, it didn't take that long in the 14th minute for... I think it was Fellaini, he knocks it down to Herrera. Mata's running, he gets the better of Moreno. It's a wonderful through ball from Herrera. Mata takes a touch and then just, just gets it round um, Mingile, 1-0. I went ballistic, all right? What a start that is, especially at Anfield. And yeah, we had a couple more chances after that, but uh, I think the next great chance came for Liverpool. And um, it was about the only, the first thing they did in the match. It's a brilliant cross, I'm not sure who does it, um... But it comes to Sturridge, and fair play to Sturridge, he does well. He he uh, passes it along the box into Lalana, and Lalana should score. It's a clean hit, and it's just past the post. So, you know, we were saved blushes there. That would have been annoying if we'd went in half-time at 1-1, because we didn't deserve to. We deserve to be winning. And anyway, half-time comes, and then, yeah, Liverpool fans getting hyped about Gerrard getting subbed on. 44 seconds after he subbed on, red card for stamping on Ander Herrera. And I've got to say, Liverpool fans, all right, who were being complete pricks to Diego Costa for doing the same thing. At least Costa didn't actually look when he was stamping on Emery Chan, I think. This time, Gerard deliberate stamp on Herrera. Herrera gets booked, though, for a stupid challenge on Gerard uh, just before that. But 44 seconds, Gerard's off. After that... You know, it was it was plain sailing for the next 15 minutes or so, I would say, uh, when we got our second goal. Now, Di Maria gets subbed on. We played the exact same lineup against Spurs as we did in this game, as did Liverpool with their last game against Swansea. And yeah, Di Maria is subbed on for Ashley Young. Ashley Young was doing all right, but yeah, Di Maria comes on. It's a lovely ball through, but Juan Mata had so much to do. And just outside the six-yard box, a scissor kick, an insane scissor kick, manages to beat Mignolet, two goals for Juan Mata, that is what that lad can do. People were saying he can't play as a winger. He was getting criticised on Sky Sports last week before against Spurs, saying, can he do it? I think he's proved it, all right? He's been fantastic last game and this game, and yet yeah, fully deserved. I'm so happy. Juan Mata shows true emotion, honestly. really loves being a red. Two goals, 2-0, and I thought it'd be plain sailing after that, but as I say, it's United, it's never easy, and we left ourselves with a lot of things to do, credit to Liverpool with 10 men, they looked a lot better than they did in the first half, as soon as we scored the second, something clicked for Liverpool, and yeah, it's a good goal to be honest, I'm not sure who plays through Sturridge, but anyways, played through, and it deflects off Jones slightly, and it takes it around David De Gea, that's one of the only mistakes David De Gea has done this season, but you've got to give him leeway, alright, everyone makes mistakes, but after that, Liverpool made it so intense, and honestly, I'm just glad we came out with a 2-1 win, we could have had another couple, um, I think Mignolet made a mistake, Rooney couldn't pounce on it, um, there was a few other shots for both sides, but the main thing, 93rd minute, we get a penalty, Wayne Rooney steps up, you're thinking, yes, we're going to beat them 3-1, no, puts it at a great height, it's a good save by Mignolet, but yeah, Wayne Rooney hasn't scored at Anfield in 10 years, he was the worst player for us today, but to be honest, it's just a curse for some reason, Anfield, he can't play there, it's a curse for him, so I, I wouldn't be worried too much, alright, um, so yeah, Three points, we're five points ahead of Liverpool in fourth. Now we can really challenge City because we've got Aston Villa next. Arsenal have Liverpool. I'm not sure who City have after the international break. But yeah, I'm going to play football. I'm going to burn off some of this energy that I, I feel, honestly, it's so good when you beat your bitter rivals, as I'm sure you all know. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the match. I'll reply to them as soon as I'm back from playing football. But yes, get in United.